Hi all and welcome to part 1 of my animal photography tutorials on Dante TV. First off, I just want to tell you guys that I'm not a professional photographer. So these are just my tips and tr tricks to take photos of animals. So enjoy them and don't take them to heart too much because I am not a professional photographer. Just wanted to let you guys know that. So today I'm going to tell you my awesome tips, tricks and secrets for taking animal photography. Know the animal. Decide what animal you want to take photos of. Research about it. Look it up. Find out what it what its habitat is, like where you can take photos of it. Learn everything you can about it. For example, if it is a bird, know that it actually moves really fast. So you need to be able to have a zoom lens or something so you, you don't step into its boundaries because every animal has a boundary. So you have to learn the animal's boundary and don't step into it or a part of it unless you're gonna like um, unless you really love the action shots. As I'm doing these tutorials for the people who can't really afford the top top branded lenses, the most expensive L lenses on Canon or whatever they are on other brands, I actually recommend you get a zoom lens that maybe just the kit lens, so the 55 to 250 which is on the Canon. I'm not too sure about the other ones, but it is a great option to have if you want to take photos of animals without disturbing them. Nearly all of my photos that I'm going to show you guys is actually taken with the 55 to 250, so I just wanted to show you how powerful a lens that is. That's this one over here. Ooh. Shooting in RAW actually takes up a lot of space, so make sure you have a lot of space with you as well. The reason why I want you guys to shoot in RAW is so that you can edit the photos later. If you get the wrong exposure, white balance, you can just edit that losslessly. So you don't lose any quality if you shoot in RAW. And that is a great option because Usually when you're shooting animals, you don't have a lot of time to, to fumble around with the manual settings. I tend to just use auto just to be, just because I'm usually in a hurry. So fill the picture. You, you want to actually have the animal to fit most of the image. Don't worry if you don't make it fill the whole picture, but make sure that you try to get it as much um, fill the picture as much as possible. If you have a lot of negative space, don't worry, shoot in RAW, bring it into programs such as Lightroom or the default programs that come with your DSLR and then crop it. It doesn't hurt to crop a bit. Just make sure you don't crop too much. So camouflage. If you're gonna go shoot in wild, in the wild, make sure you're not wearing really bright colors, outstanding colors, because the birds or animals will start to attack you, or they'll notice your presence and you won't be able to get a good shot. I might show you guys in the next video a short clip of me being ch chased by a bird because I'm actually wearing my photo photography bag which actually clashed with the bird so it is uh, it was quite scary my life kind of flashed before my eyes because I don't really like animals in the first place but I love taking photos of them so yeah just uh, make sure you wear something that doesn't stand out something that's really natural like green browns those type of colors This is one of my favorite tips, cloudy days. Most people think that a really sunny day is the best time to take photos, but you are incorrect. When the sun is out in full force during like, let's say midday, you get a lot of shadows. The more light you get, the more shadows you get, which is really annoying on some of the photos. Some people might be liking the shadow effect. I do like the shadow effect sometimes. Most cameras auto white balance works amazingly with cloudy situations. So if you have the option to switch over to cloudy, do that because you might be um, gladly surprised at, at your how your photos turn out. So that's all for my animal photography tutorials for today. Please stay tuned for part two. Hope you guys get a lot out of it. Go outside, go take some photos of some beautiful animals, post them online, show me if you want. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye, please subscribe.